Here's a product. Music. Here's a product. Over and out and over. And here's a product. How's my influencing? <laughs>
We're gonna remember that we stuffed this shit bag through a bush. We're gonna get it, we swear. Then it turned out everybody had to leave early for work, which meant the last day we had planned for climbing got canceled. All right, we're already on our way back and it is, I don't know, what time? 6.15. 6.15. So, my plan to show off our handy dandy Rocky Talkies wasn't gonna happen. There it is. What a responsible pet owner. And it's still fresh. So, some minor setbacks, but nothing I couldn't roll with. I just thought, okay, I'll put more focus on the fishing part of the trip, which I thought was a great idea. Well, turns out Tennessee trout don't really like Julie and I. Have you gotten any more bites? Negative. <laughs> we spent over a hundred dollars on fishing permits and countless hours driving back and forth to different spots. All right, so we got some tips on where to go. So we're gonna try a few pools we saw and uh, fingers crossed we, we snag something. Just to find ourselves slipping on rocks, catching trout the size of sardines. Not to mention I had a buddy over at Trout Recon send us some flies he tied in order for us to catch some fish while we were out there. Granted, we did catch some fish, but they weren't anything photo worthy. I mean, we even stayed an extra day in hopes of catching something bigger. All right, we've entered Caves Cove. We're gonna try to fish along Abrams Creek, but it turns out we just weren't meant to. Could be our technique. We are pretty new. <laughs> we got ourselves a little baby. Let's see him. Take a ah. photo. Now, I know I'm being dramatic. We still had a ton of fun while we were out there. Getting to hang out with my buddies while we were climbing in a place I'd never been to. Is this a banana in my hand or am I just happy to see me? Oh. It's a banana. <laughs> <laughs> Playing board games and eating homemade pizza. That's a whole lot of dough. <sighs> <laughs> Fishing at an overcrowded waterfall. And even squeezing in some fun touristy stuff like hillbilly mini golf. No, you'll wait we get the point. That's right. And a fun pirate themed escape room. Yeah! These were things I'm super glad I got to do. I'm just learning how to have realistic expectations of what I can incorporate work wise while doing all of that. I've always fantasized about earning a living just by going on trips and doing activities as I'm sure most of you have as well. But I never really stopped to think about the amount of work that entails. From working out deliverables, to getting the product, to then shooting it organically and editing it all together in order to influence. And I know I'm just getting started in this and I'm working out the kinks and I'm also still working as a freelancer in order to make some money, which makes it even harder, but I think I'm headed in the right direction. I'm on the path to being somewhat self-sufficient, where I could pick my own schedule and actually make some money off my ideas and creativity, and in the end, that's the ultimate goal. So, I might not be that quintessential influencer that you're used to seeing, but that's not a bad thing. Because as cheesy as it sounds, I can really only be myself, which I'm pretty good at, I think. And so with that, I just wanna thank all of you for watching this video and hanging in there and following along with the channel. And if you're feeling curious and generous with your time, it doesn't hurt to go check out Trout Recon on Instagram or Rocky Talkies or AXA Technologies for a new projector or Ultimate Ears for a Bluetooth speaker. And you can also go check out our Patreon if you wanna see extra content and extended rough cuts of the videos I release on the channel. That helps keep me going down this path of self-sufficiency YouTuber. And that's it. Stay tuned for some fun and engaging reviews of a new projector. Till the next video. Thanks guys. <laughs> Final scores, in last place, me and Freddie with 50, Webster with 48, yeah. Julie with 44, Allie with 43, and Ben won with 42. Oh and my god! Par was 41. Perfect. You guys can check my math, but that sounds exactly how it should have been. <laughs> yeah. Big win. Bimpy wins again.